Hi lovely people, I'm Susie Redding, I'm from the Nourish team and I have some inspiration on rest for you today. We're going to take a look at why rest is so vital and three quick practices that make it doable for all of us busy mums. First of all, we need to get clear on what rest is. Rest doesn't always have to be doing nothing. It doesn't have to be lying in stillness. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. Rest is an absence of effort. And how lovely do those words sound? An absence of effort. Rest is also an absence of striving, an absence of ambition. Yeah, it's a sense of peacefulness. It's a sense of a little pocket of calm, a little micro break. Yeah. Um, why is it so necessary? Well, we need rest to dial down stress and anxiety. We need it to promote the healthy functioning of our nervous system. We need it to cope. We need it to restore. We need it to heal. We need rest because rest promotes our ability to relax. And when we know how to relax, it makes it easier to get to sleep. So my mantra as a mum uh, pretty quickly became sleep for sanity, rest for resilience. And in the absence of good sleep, because we all know how tough that is, um, how hard to come by good sleep is for us mums, we need to prioritise restorative practices. And that doesn't always mean lying down for an hour. It could be just these little moments where we pause, where we take a breath. Yeah, simply done. That's so important that we do it. Um, I think it's important to acknowledge that we're embedded in a culture that tells us you snooze, you lose. And it's a really dangerous, dangerous idea. The fact is we need rest for us to function as a human being. Yeah, this is not an indulgence. This is a necessity. Yeah, um, think of it as a way of topping up your energy bank so that it boosts your resilience. It boosts your creativity in response to life as it unfolds. Mm -hmm. But how do we do it as busy mums? Well, here are some, a couple of ideas that make it accessible. Um, if you're already down on the floor, having done a nappy change, stay there and do a child's pose. Uh, you'll find that on the Nourish app if you need some instruction. It's such a lovely way of soothing. Now, if you're not down on the floor, then we can mimic that same feeling of earthing the brow by bringing the back of one hand to your forehead and firmly pressing. Just try that now. Just notice how soothing that is for your eyes. It relaxes your jaw, it slows your rate of breathing down, and then you can let it go. This is a little micro break, yeah? This is how we weave restful restorative practices into our day, and it can make all the difference, yeah? Okay, so that's our first strategy. Child's pose or earthing the brow using the back of your hand. Um, another one, which is a lovely antidote to time on screens, which at the moment is prevalent. Yeah, this is how we, we need to, we need to turn to screens to stay connected, but it's very, very stimulating for our eyes, for our brain. So the antidote to that is green gazing. So better still get outside and watch the canopy of trees moving the breeze or if you can't get outside then just take yourself to a window and look outside and see in a, at a distance the green of the canopy of trees um, it's very calming very soothing for your eyes now if there, are, if there aren't trees in your line of sight then maybe seek out a bird on the wing or watch the moving cloudscape very calming very soothing for our nervous system and then our third way of resting. Wow, let's try it together now. Can you rub your hands together? Create some warmth. We're just gonna enjoy an absence of effort for a moment or two. And now bring your hands across your heart, feeling the warmth of your hands there. Take a couple of calm, relaxed breaths into your hands. And just give yourself permission to stop. Yeah, sometimes the most productive thing we can do is rest. Take a breather. Take a break. A couple of smooth, relaxed breaths, just topping up the energy bank.
and then we can release the hands and we can re-enter the day with greater clarity, greater purpose and a sense of calm. I hope those strategies resonate for you, lovely people. Take good care of you. See you soon. Bye.